Welcome back to Cashed Out. And today we're gonna to be talking about the Canon RF 35 millimeter macro lens. Now, this is one of the most versatile lenses that I've had the opportunity to use. And this lens is kind of like a Swiss army knife. Swiss Army knife. Yeah, that's yeah, that's what the word is. It's kind of like a Swiss Army knife of lenses, and you can use it for pretty much anything. You can use it for landscapes, for portraits, and obviously you can use it for up close macro shots. It's just a fantastic little lens, and I wanted to go through a couple tips, three quick tips on how to use this lens, how to utilize it, and what you just saw that B roll sequence that you just saw to start out the video was actually all shot on this 35 millimeter macro lens, and this talking head sequence that I'm doing right now is also shot on that 35 millimeter lens so we're gonna cover three quick tips on how to use this lens and get the most out of this nifty lens for you tip number one for using this lens is to get nice and close get up close with this lens now this lens is obviously a macro lens so it's meant for nice tight shots it has a minimum focusing distance of 6.7 inches and a wide aperture at 1.8 to allow you to be able to get a lot of light in when you're getting in nice and close to your subject so make sure you get up close utilize those macro capabilities the macro capability of this lens are just awesome. That's I, I love macro lenses. <laughs> That's just kind of one of my favorite things because they allow you to be able to create another perspective of everyday things. Like you can take a macro shot of just like a quarter or a keyboard or just something pretty plain and the macro image of it just makes it look so unique and so different. So when you get this lens, please, please, please be sure to use it for macro photography or macro videos. It really makes for cool product videos and you can get nice Nice and close one whether it's like a, a mic kind of like we have on the shot right here or just anything else you can get some really cool perspectives some really cool images so tip number one get nice and close use those macro capabilities to create some cool shots second tip for using this 35 millimeter lens is to use it for everything that's the cool thing that's what makes this lens so versatile is that it's very flexible you can use it obviously for macro shots but you can also use it for landscapes at 35 millimeter it's wide enough to be able to get some cool landscape shots um, if you're shooting video with it you can use it to kind of get that establishing shot kind of show what's going on show everything that's happening so it's a very versatile lens in terms of that um, you can also use it for portrait photography now it's not going to be as tight of a shot as a 50 mil or an 85 millimeter so you're not going to be able to get the same type of angles but at 35 mil you want to give yourself a little bit of distance between you and, and the person you're shooting because obviously 35 millimeter oh, uh, looks like my phone went out. Stop texting me. Just keep in mind, if you're shooting portraits at 35 millimeter, the lens is good. You can shoot portraits at 35, but you just want to be mindful of the distortion. You don't want to get too close to the person that you're shooting because you might get that distortion on their face or some of their bodies might be weirdly shaped because of the 35 millimeter um, angle. But you can still use it for cool portraits if you just want to incorporate the, the environment, maybe shoot them a little bit further, take in more of the, the surroundings as well. So tip number two, Use this lens for everything. Use it for landscape, use it for portraits, use it for macro. Just use this lens. It's super versatile and it's freaking awesome. The third and final tip that I'll give you is don't be afraid to move. Now, what, what do I mean by that? Don't be afraid to move with your shots if you're shooting video or if you're taking photos. Don't feel like you need to be a statue. This lens is image stabilized, which is such a beautiful thing. Such a beautiful thing because if you're a Canon shooter, if you know Canon, obviously you know most of their bodies do not have IBIS. They don't, they don't have in-body image stabilization so the stabilization is dependent on either you having a tripod or you having an IS lens kind of like this one so obviously the R5 and R6 that are coming out are gonna change the game they're gonna revolutionize that but as of now most of the Canon bodies that, that we shoot on don't have IBIS so having an image stabilized lens makes it so much better for you when you're shooting videos it allows you to continue to be creative to where you can have some motion some movement in your shots and not have to worry about needing a gimbal or needing a tripod in order to keep your image steady. Image stabilization in the lens will allow you to be able to get some cool smooth movement. Now it's not going to be perfectly smooth all the time. You might have to do some uh, stabilization in post, but it's not going to be like crazy shaky. You know, it's not going to look awful. It's not going to look terrible. So the image stabilization on this lens is awesome. So obviously with video, it's pretty obvious how that comes into play, but it's also beneficial for you if you're doing photography, because if you're taking photos or if you're taking a shot and you're trying to, you know, 
hold still and you just happen to have a little bit of a shake in your hand without image stabilization that shake would you know take you from being tack sharp to being you know a little bit fuzzy but using the image stabilization on this lens you'll be able to keep that tack sharp image so definitely don't be afraid to move don't feel like you need to be a statue feel free to keep using your creativity move around get some cool angles and don't be scared to use that image stabilization that comes with this lens so that's it for today guys just wanted to give you guys a couple tips quick ideas on how to use your Canon RF 35 millimeter macro lens hopefully it was helpful hopefully it was beneficial if it was be sure to like this video and if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and subscribe and I will see you on the next one take it easy guys